does your hair stick up like this in the back of your head, right? And it's always sticking straight up or your hair looks like something like this, okay? <laughs> this is something that I see all the time as a, you know, stylist and, and it's really, really interesting. So let's talk about why this is happening and the best options to, you know, kind of combat something like this and prevent it from happening. So in, in my situation, I'll see a lot of times people will have a haircut, right, where this is really, really short and this is super long, but it's still not long enough for the hair to lay flat like this. So what happens is it literally only can do one thing, which is stick straight up this way. So what options do you have in order to fix something like this? Well, if it's sticking straight up like that, the hair simply is not long enough to have the weight to kind of collapse down, okay? If the hair does not have enough weight, all it can do is grow straight out this way, okay? It's still sprouting out from the head, still growing. What happens is once the hair reaches a certain length, it's gonna say, okay, I'm just gonna fall over like this because I can't stand up on my own anymore. It's basically standing up on its own. <laughs> And then what happens is it's like a tree. If you, you know, cut down a tree, it's gonna eventually just timber and fall down and come to the ground. So that's what's gonna happen eventually with your hair sticking up. So if you are someone who does not wanna cut their hair super, super, super short, they still wanna have some bit of texture through here, but you, your main concern is making this lay, look how it, look how it lays perfectly flat now. It went from sticking straight up because the hair is long enough where I can brush the hair in the direction of the way of how it grows. Now, as you can see right here, obviously this is not a human head, but it's human hair, okay? The cadillac usually is something like this or a swirl where it simply goes around like this. So it means this part goes this way, this goes this way, this goes, so the hair growth pattern is all different directions. When you can kind of split that up into the areas of where each part grows, you could actually get it to lay perfectly flat. So you're gonna comb it this way, you're gonna comb the hair in this way, then this way, and this all the, way, all the way forward, and then look what happens. The hair lays perfectly flat and we're good to go, all right? So if you are looking for a hairstyle where you really don't wanna go super short, okay, see how that all ha hair lays nice and flat now like this. If you want a hairstyle like that, you need to just keep growing it until the hair lays flat. It's that simple. It could take a month, it could take two months. It all depends, all right? It all depends on you, what your tolerance level is. The only thing is, is the longer this gets, you have to keep in mind that you don't wanna have this super short and then all this hair right through here, it's not gonna look right. So make sure your haircut remains Here's the key word, balanced, okay? You need the haircut to remain balanced, which means that if this is a little bit longer, maybe this should be a little bit longer, okay? Here is the complete other option on this, the, the opposite thing of what you could do. Now, imagine if you like this laying flat this way. What you would need to do is cut all of this off in this area, meaning, okay, if you like your hair this length right here, say maybe you like a number, you know, three guard or two guard or whatever it is, this should match that in through this area, okay? To where it's not gonna stand up to the point where it's gonna affect or the haircut, all right? So what does that mean? Let's say you start with a, a one here, then you go to one and a half, two, three. This should be what you're blending this into right into here. So this should be like a number three guard and literally just take the clipper with the, with the number three guard on it and just buzz off this hair, okay? But keep in mind that you have to buzz this and then blend it. Remember, you're still, you still have to have a decent haircut. You don't just wanna just buzz this off and then you have this big clump of hair on your head. This has to all be blended in. So you need an actual proper haircut. So what I'm saying is cut this all off right in through here. Cut it very, very short and then work it going shorter to longer. So you have to make sure that you're skilled enough or you're going to somebody to get this done, obviously, to blend this in, whether it's you know, a half inch, then you have to go to you know, three quarters of an inch, an inch, an inch, you know. It all has to be done uh, 
and blended properly and gradually towards what you want in the front here. So buzz all this off and take the clipper and go this way, then go this way, go around. But make sure you're staying consistent in this area so it doesn't look ridiculous where you've got like, you know, a number one all the way here and then a two and th or a three and through here. This should all match the same in through this perimeter right in through here, okay? Then you could either keep that sort of hairstyle as your hair, I mean, that could be your new style. And then you could, you can actually spike it and make it in, incorporate it into the look, which looks really, really cool with some product and stuff. You know, or it's just gonna be so short that it's not an issue. But I always suggest use some sort of product so that it doesn't just look like you shaved your head, okay? It doesn't look like you just buzzed all, buzzed all this off and it's just like, doesn't blend well. Use, you know, a paste, any one of my products, something that's gonna help add some texture so it just kind of softens up the look. But I'm telling you, these two options work great if your hair is sticking straight up in the back. Either get rid of it or grow it so that it lays flat like this. So please let me know in the comments below if you found this video helpful. Don't forget to use code YouTube20. That's YouTube20. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.